Hey guys, we have the Hemnes TV storage unit and in this video I want to explain to you how to assemble this step by step. And the first thing is you have to make sure you have two boxes, two cardboard boxes, one with the one on it and one with the two. And then here we see all the parts and components we find inside of it. And we're also going to find several bags with screws and dowels in it. And we're, first we're going to open up the one that has the number one on it. And then we're going to look for these wooden boards here that look exactly like this here. These have these four holes in the on the side. And here in the center, in the two holes in the center, we're going to push in two of the wooden dowels. And we're going to repeat this for a second board as well. We're not going to put the dowels into the outside holes. And then we're going to look for these boards that have a hole into in the right in the center. And here we're going to use these uh, screw-like, well, yeah, these screws. And we're going to screw those in. And you don't want to screw them in too deep. You see exactly where you have to stop. So don't go deeper than that. Just stop right there. See that when this little uh, color hits the wood. And we're going to do this in four positions here. So you're going to repeat that four times. And now we're going to use one of these boards that we just prepared and we're going to install them in the way that these two holes that you see on the side, that those are facing towards the outside of that third board here, the one that we have on the bottom. See, so we're going to repeat this on the right side as well. Also here, the two holes on the side of this board have to face away to here in this case to the right. And you should be able to just slide these on here. And then together with all the screws, we're also going to find here these around locks so we're going to take one of these and here push this into those into the round hole and they're only going to fit in in one orientation and then you take a phillips screwdriver and you're going to rotate rotate this lock here clockwise until it stops and that keeps here the boards in place so we're going to repeat this of course here also four times so in each hole one of these locks and then we're already here to put in the uh, bottom part of the uh, of these drawers. And they're only going to fit in in one direction. So you have to do it the correct way. Otherwise, they're not going to line up correctly. So this is the right way to do it. And then we should have another type of board that has these uh, slots here on the top. And then two holes on the sides. And we're going to place this here right on top. And this is going to be the uh, backside of our uh, drawer. And then we find here these plastic dowels. And we can push these here in from the side. And we're going to push them through the uh, first board into the second board. So this board that we just installed. So in case you have trouble lining them up, then just push the uh, dowel first through the first board. And then it should be relatively easy to align this second board correctly and then push it through. In case it's too difficult for you to push in these dowels by hand, then just use a hammer. And of course, we're also going to repeat this on the second side as well. And now we uh, still have to attach here the uh, knob for our drawer. So we're going to take here one of those uh, screws that goes in from the back side or from the inside of the drawer and then it's going to protrude all the way to the front. And here we're going to by hand uh, screw on the uh, knob. And while we're doing that, we're going to hold on with the other hand onto the screw. We don't really need a screwdriver. Then the next step is to install the rails for our drawers. And you should have a couple of sets of these here. You're going to take these apart because they're kind of uh, taped together. And we're going to look for the right parts here. So we're going to look for the ones that look just like this that have these notches here, these three notches. So you want two of those and there should be uh, two different kinds in each package. So now we have to figure out which one goes onto which side. And it's pretty easy to find out because you see here the one that has the uh, wheel on the one end here. So the wheel that's supposed to face towards the back end of our drawer, just like this here. And then these notches, they are on the bottom side. And then we're going to use two of these small Phillips screws. 
and we're going to align here this the rail and we're going to put two of the screws here onto the into the sides so there's some pre-drilled holes that you can uh, align the uh, rails with the drawers so we're going to just screw those in here and you want to make sure that you get these screws in really nice and straight so that they're not protruding once you have them all the way screwed in and then of course we're going to repeat this step also on the opposite side as well and again make sure that you screw in these screws really nice and straight this is going to ensure that in the future the drawers are going to slide in and out of the cabinet really easy and smoothly so really make sure you put them in nice and straight and they're not protruding anymore once you have them later on i found out that doing this step with the drawer on the side makes the job actually a lot easier so i suggest you try this as well and of course we don't have just one drawer but three so we have to repeat these steps two more times and then it's time to continue with assembling the rest of the unit so we're going to start and open up the package with the uh, screws that has the number two on it and we're going to look for the pieces that go on the side of the unit and we're going to put them on the ground just exactly like this here with these two notches here that you see on the side those should be facing each other and then we should still have a couple of these rails and we're going to install these just like this here so you want to install them in the right orientation look like this here with the uh, wheels uh, on the outside of these uh, two pieces and also the wheels have to face down just like this and we're going to use uh, three of these screws for each rail and again you want to make sure that you're going to screw these in nice and straight so that they are really countersunk when, uh, once you have totally screwed down those screws and I'm going to repeat this on the second side as well and then we need four of these screws again these oddly shaped screws and uh, one goes on the top left here right there into that hole and then one on the bottom left and then there's two more of these we need and those go here on the bottom right and then there's also another one above that one so that makes it a total of four and also make sure here again that you screw these in all the way but don't go too deep and so right now this is what these two boards should look like so we have a total of four of those uh, screws in there and now we're going to use need these four long slats and uh, three of them are very similar and one of them looks different so we're going to take the one that looks uh, different from the other three so this is the one that's uh, painted on all four sides and we're going to put a wooden dowel here in this one end here make sure don't put the dowel into the into that hole that has the other round hole next to it and now we can put this here on the piece on the right in the upper right corner and of course we are using these uh, locks locks again so just push that in there and use your phillips screwdriver to tighten it down and now we have three more of those slats left over and those also have uh, each one hole where we have to put in a wooden dowel so let's do that we're actually going to do this on the opposite side of those slats as well and now we have to align these or put these in in the right uh, direction so this is really important that you do this right you have to look for here in this case you see this little cutout on the right side make sure that this is there and then here we're going to do the same look for this here so here the cutout has to be right now facing the left from this point of view so we're going to tighten that down like this and here this is the same direction as the last one so here also this cutout is facing the left side and also don't forget here all of them we're going to put those locks in there and we're tightening them down so this is what this looks like 
don't forget that there should be right now dowels on the opposite sides as well. And then we're going to put the top on here. So we're going to carefully align this. This step actually may take a minute because it's kind of difficult to do this, especially if you're only using one hand like me here with the, holding the camera with the other hand. So make sure that the, the screws go right into those holes and then of course lock them down with these round locks and screw them in tightly. So now this is what that looks like. Now we're continuing here with these two boards and just uh, it's best if you just put them down on the ground just like this so you have the, uh, this uh, notch on the upper right corner and then this long one on the left side so these boards are putting down just like this and then we should have still a couple of these rails left over and we're going to use the ones here that have the r in this position here and we're going to place them on these boards right where we have these three screws. We're going to align them with these screws and or with the screw holes. And we're of course, again, tightening them down. We're going to do the same thing on the right board as well. So these should look exactly the same. And then we're flipping these boards around. And now we should still have two more rails uh, left over. So here now we have these notches on the upper left corner. Now here we have the rails with an L on it. We're going to put these down here as well and lining them up with those pre-drilled holes and we're going to screw them down. And then in the next step we're going to use two wooden dowels and we're going to take a look at these notches here. On the upper left corner you're going to see that there is a hole in there and we're going to put one dowel into each hole. So here as well. And now it's time to actually install these boards. So we're going to flip the uh, unit here on the side, actually upside down. And we're going to have this board here that is of really touching the, touching the ground. We're going to have this right in front of us. And now we're going to install the first board. And we're going to place them here on the, this on the ground, right? This, like this here with that wooden dowel, we're going to see here two holes, one a little bit bigger hole, and then one is a little bit smaller. And we're going to put that wooden dowel into the smaller hole. And then we can align this here with the uh, top. We're going to repeat this on the opposite side or the other side as well. The wooden dowel goes into the smaller hole. Straighten out this board. And then we should have four of these screws here. Uh, we're going to use uh, this tool here that we have to first assemble, actually. Just going to slide this into that plastic handle and just push it in there. This makes it easier to use. And then we're going to use the first of those screws. We're going to align that board with that hole, with the hole here on top. Push in that first screw, then on the other end as well. Same thing, align the board and push the screw through as far as we can. And then we're going to use here this tool and uh, we're going to tighten down that screw. We don't have to use too much force. Oh, like don't tighten it down too much, just until it's tight. And uh, the uh, screw should be countersunk, so it should not, it should be, dis should disappear here inside of that board. Okay, so now we're going to, of course, uh, repeat the same thing here on the second board as well. And once we've done that, we're going to flip over our unit. And now we're going to see here the uh, top part of the unit. And there's going to be a couple of holes for more dowels. So make sure to use the right holes here and exactly follow what I'm showing here. Don't put them back accidentally into one of the holes where you have one of those round holes uh, on the side. That would be bad if you put one in there. So I'll only put a wooden dowel right into these holes that I'm pointing out here. Okay, also on right now here on the top part as well. And that's the last one.
So that should be a total of eight wooden dowels that we put in there. And now we have here the uh, board, the top board, the countertop basically. And we're going to place this on the ground in front of us exactly like this here. So there should be uh, some places for more of those screws that we can put in here. So there should be a total of six holes where these fit in. We don't want to put them into the wrong holes. And of course we're going to tighten those down with the, with the screwdriver, with our Phillips screwdriver. And then the next step we can install here these brackets here to uh, mount uh, the TV unit to our wall if we wanted to. So there's uh, this little really tiny hole here on the left side that we should still have. We can do this like this with the uh, with the washer in between. And of course uh, we can repeat the same th step here on the opposite sides on the right side of the board as well. And now we can uh, mount the two pieces together. So I'm going to flip over the frame here and align this with the uh, countertop. Of course it's easier to do this with two people. So I just do this by myself. It really takes a minute to get this done right. But eventually you will be able to slip this over the screw heads and the wooden dowels and they should all uh, perfectly fit together. Just like this. And of course don't forget that we again have to tighten this down so we need six of these locks that we uh, screw down with our Phillips screwdriver. And then we have a couple of left other screws that we're going to put in on this side here. So there should still be a couple of screw holes that are open. So in four of those, we put these screws and we're going to tighten this down. Don't want to over tighten it, just make sure that it holds. You don't want to accidentally screw these all the way down and then through our uh, counter top. Okay, now it's time to flip the unit over one more time. Now we're going to take a look at the back side of the unit. And this is where we install here this uh, back panel. I'm just going to slide this in here. If you've done this right earlier, then it should just fit right in. And then we have a total of six of these little brackets here. And we're going to install these with these small uh, screws. So just put one bracket here with the hole right in between that uh, back panel and the piece of wood and then tighten it down and then so we have six of these so we're going to distribute these evenly over the back side so i did this in this way here actually we have eight not six we have eight of these brackets i'm just going to tighten the back panel down and now we can uh, push this unit upright and now it's time to install the shelves and in order to do that we have here these little metal pins here so these go in in the uh, right orientation that these round thingies here that you see here that these are facing upwards so just push one of these metal pieces into one of these holes here so we should have a total of 12 of them so four in each cavity just like this so repeat this two more times and now we can uh, use the uh, shelves here that we have here that have here this cut out at the end so this is the way that we want to orient orientate this with the cut out here facing upwards and we're going to put this right in here and then this cutout should be lining up with the underside of that uh, slab that we installed earlier and then when we push it down then these pins here should go right into the little cutouts on the of the shelf and then of course repeat this two more times so this is how that should look like and then the last step already is now to install our drawers 
and we're just going to align the rails on those wheels and they should in should go in relatively easy and then slide them in make sure that they're sitting right try them out make sure that they're moving in and out smoothly and they don't get caught anywhere if they do get caught then make sure that those screws that we looked at earlier that those are really aligned nicely okay so and this was already it for this video hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below